Welcome to Science News. Here's what happened last month. Wooden objects found at an archaeological site in Newfoundland have been accurately dated, coming from a tree that had been cut down in the year 1021 by Norse Vikings. The site has three homes and other structures that are believed to be Viking in origin, but precisely dating the area had been unsuccessful until now. Why did this and one other suspected settlement fail? Can you imagine how differently the world would have turned out if Vikings had aggressively expanded into North America? Newfoundland itself is believed to be Vinland, a land referenced in Icelandic texts from the 1200s that was said to have been settled by the Vikings. In China's Tarim Basin, bodies from 13 people who lived about 4,000 years ago were found, and they were mummies. This happened naturally, as the desert heat had preserved the bodies, and scientists were a little confused when they saw them, as their facial features resembled European facial features, and several artifacts came from outside the region, such as Eurasian wool. There was also evidence in their teeth that they were drinking milk, another Eurasian societal norm, not normal for indigenous Chinese. DNA testing has cleared up this mystery, the mummies from the Terran Basin had no links to interbreeding with other cultures, so they apparently traded with people originating from Eurasian cultures, but didn't mate with them. Different mummies found in the Zungarian Basin did have DNA links with Eurasian herders, so researchers believe that this cultural link led to the people over in the Terran Basin to adopt some of their habits such as drinking milk. Cultures trekking across long distances, trading peacefully as opposed to warfare, shows that ancient humans didn't always resort to violence to get things, and were open to trying new things. 28 million light years away, astronomers discovered the first known planet in another galaxy. Located in the Whirlpool Galaxy, the extragalactic planet orbits a massive star and a dead star as part of a binary system. Scientists were able to locate the planet despite its distance because of a unique transit method. But instead of seeing it block light, the planet was blocking X-rays emanating from the dead star that it was stealing from the larger star. Two other galaxies, the Pinwheel Galaxy and the Sombrero Galaxy, were also checked for extragalactic planets using this method, but nothing turned up. We don't know for sure the makeup of other galaxies. It's all speculation. Finding this potential planet means that the general models we see in the Milky Way could be common across different galaxies. Or they could be limited to spiral galaxies, since even with this discovery, the Whirlpool and the Milky Way would still be our only reference points. Earth and Venus have similar orbits and masses, but for some reason these two planets are wildly different. New computer simulations show why this might have happened, and it was just dumb luck for Earth, bad luck for Venus. Early in the lifespan of these two planets, they were hit by other, very large-sized protoplanets that were being drawn close to the Sun. They hit the Earth first, bouncing off of it, and leaving much of its crust material with it. This slowed down the protoplanet, and the simulation shows that about 50% of them went on to collide with Venus. But because it was moving slower, it would merge with Venus instead of just bouncing off of it. And with its outer layers gone, its inner iron core remained to strike our neighbor. Venus doesn't really have a magnetic field, it has no moon, and it spins very slowly. Not to mention its composition and greenhouse gas effect gone wild. And we're talking a very different planet than it could have turned out to be, if not for the fact that Earth was just outside its orbit. A newly discovered species of gecko was found in India named the Jackie's Day Gecko after actor Jackie Chan. 
They named it after him because of the gecko's agility, something needed in this mountainous western Ghats region. The Jackie's Day gecko is actually one of 12 new species found, including the Golden Crown Day Gecko and the Galaxy Day Gecko. The western Ghats are actually threatened due to deforestation. Scientists are booking it there to try and learn what they can before the landscape and the animals there are destroyed. The reason why they named this gecko after the actor is because they hope that the extra publicity and the connection people may feel will help raise awareness to the shrinking biodiversity happening in the remote area. One of the things that Seattle, Washington is known for is how it rains so much. Average annual rainfall is about 37 inches. Last month, in northwestern Italy, 29 inches of rain fell in just 12 hours. One town, Rossiglione, got 36 inches of rain, almost the same amount that Seattle would get for the whole year. Mudslides and flooding hit Italy near its border with France pretty hard. And this extreme weather wasn't just limited to Europe. In Oman, which doesn't really get hardly any rain, tropical cyclone Shaheen hit and dumped 14 inches of rain on the northern part of the country, which doesn't seem like much, except it would normally take the area three years to get that much rainfall. As climate change continues to impact the world, exactly what kind of weather events and where they will occur needs to be anticipated as quickly as possible. That way, preventative measures can be enacted to safeguard lives and the landscape. 144,000 gallons of crude oil was spilled into the Pacific Ocean last month off of the California coastline. A 13-inch split was found in the pipe, and investigators say it was likely caused by an anchor. A state of emergency was called two days after the spill was reported to cut red tape as workers try and clean up what they can as quickly as possible. Dead fish and dead birds began washing ashore almost immediately. The use of oil is ingrained in humanity's technological landscape until we can be more reliant on other sources of energy, such as wind, solar, and electric, these spills will continue to happen. Nature pays the price. A kidney was taken from a pig and successfully attached to a human host, functioning normally for 54 hours. The surgeons in New York City who performed the operation haven't published their research yet, but this marks the first time that a kidney from a pig was attached to a person without it being immediately rejected from the body. About 100,000 people are on the organ transplant list. 90% of them need a kidney. Pigs have unique traits that lend themselves to easy organ transplanting, more so than primate to different primates. The woman who had received the pig kidney was brain dead and living on a ventilator, and her family consented to the procedure because of the medical potential of having such a resource available. A new technology meant to combat depression was detailed in the journal Nature Medicine last month. An implant made specifically for the research volunteer was placed directly onto her brain. When gamma signals were detected at an elevated rate in her amygdala, which is the part of the brain which processes emotions, a tiny electrical jolt interrupted them. The shocks were too low for the volunteer to feel them, and she got about 300 of them per day. The result after months of activity was the easing of the depression, allowing her to resume regular life activities. Severe depression can essentially halt someone's life, and it's not like people can just get over it. The brain is complex, and for many of those whom suffer from depression, it's a biological problem happening in the brain, not a psychiatric issue. The volunteer has had this implant in her brain for a year now. She is paving the way for researchers to learn how to fight depression effectively.